Pam Kelly, and I'm up here in Spockford, Vermont, USA. I am the owner of Heart Song Reiki and Heart Song for Animals. Hi, I am Debra, and I am here in Melbourne, Australia. I run Melbourne Reiki Centre. This animal Reiki course, an intro to working with animals, is going to be held over three sessions. Kelly is going to be guiding us during these three sessions and teaching us some of the beautiful principles of working with animals when you want to offer Reiki or meditation or just connect with your animal, bring more peace to your life or your animal's life. I just love uh, what you offer and what you bring. And so I think people are going to be so amazed at uh, the teachings that you're going to be able to share. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun. I know that. Yeah, we're going to have lots of fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> so, so what is, what are people going to learn? I mean, are they just going to have us chatting away? Like, what is it? What is it that people are going to? <laughs> well, we do have a lot of laughs, so it we wouldn't do. be bad at all. But yeah, so so what um, they'll learn the basics of um, what we do with the animals, how we work with the animals. Um, they'll come away from the, the three weeks or the three sessions with um some practices they can use at home with the animals in their own house or their their friends or neighbors animals. Um, and they'll also learn some techniques to keep themselves peaceful and calm. So this is a course that's go about connecting heart to heart with the animals, um, learning that they teach us as much as we learn, you know, as much as we teach them, they teach us. Um, and it's an opportunity for us to really connect deeply uh, with the animals in our lives and, and bring, um, you know, when we're, we're peaceful and calm, our animals are peaceful and calm. So if you're having behavioral issues or troubles with your, um, with your animals at home, this is a great place to start. But what if I've never learned Reiki? Does it matter? No, not at all. This course is for anybody who has never even meditated or doesn't know anything about energy work. We're going to talk a little bit about about the things that um, that create a Reiki practice. This isn't a Reiki course. It's a meditation and intro to animal Reiki, but it's not a certification course. Uh, it's just an opportunity for you to have a better understanding of what animal Reiki is about. And, um, and then also take away some things that you can use in your own life. Amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. What if someone... Um like myself, I don't have an animal friend or companion at home. Uh, I love animals, but uh, so a lot of the time I'm either connecting with other people's animals or I'm sitting in nature and I might have birds or other creatures around me. So what if that's more your situation? Is this course going to be applicable? Yeah, sure. So, so, um, you know, we all have uh, animals in our in our neighborhoods, you know, squirrels and uh, chipmunks or birds, wildlife. Um, maybe you have a zoo nearby, you can practice there or um, a local shelter where you like to go in and walk the dogs or pet the cats. Um, it's a great place to practice. So, uh, yeah, so you'll have some, some little meditation techniques to do and, and even even if you don't have any animals nearby or it's difficult for you to find them, um, at the very least, you'll come away from this course with tools to bring peace and calmness to your own life. Um, but also um, bring to mind animals that you have um, a deep connection to. Maybe you, you l love hearing and reading about the elephants. Um, you know, in India or Africa, or, or you're, um, you're concerned about the condition of the ocean. And so you wish there was something you could do for whales and dolphins and fish. Um, so we'll give you some tools that you can use there as well. I'm so excited to be able to practice and keep learning with you. Kelly's one of my dearest Reiki friends across the globe. And we have a really interesting way that we met, given that we're on other sides of the world. Um, and I don't know, do you want to share your side of how we met, Kelly? And Yeah, and yeah, that? I would. Actually, um, and it, I am so honored to do this with Deb because uh, she's my favorite re global Reiki person. And um, we met um, through our teacher, 
mm-hmm. uh, Franz Stina, who contacted me and said, oh, one of my friends, Deb, is coming to Vermont, and maybe you guys should connect. And I, I don't know, he must have just figured out our personalities are really going to um, do well together. But we met, um, we made arrangements to meet up in the city where Deb was taking a class and hit it off right away. And we, um, we went and pre- meditated by um, Lake Champlain and did some Reju, some Reiki stuff. And, um, and it was just the easiest connection that I've ever made. So we had a great time. We had dinner. I hated to see her go. <laughs> and so over the years, we've been able to keep in contact. But that's the, that's the beauty of Reiki, right? We meet yeah. the most wonderful people through our practice. So it was just, I feel like stars must have aligned. And um, yes. I'm forever grateful for Franz introducing us. Uh, I was going off to do some corporate training, whoop de doo and, uh, you know, and here I was, uh, a wonderful, you know, journey to go overseas and uh, to study and happened to mention it to Franz. And he says, oh, I know a person in Vermont and I'd never been to Vermont before. And so I was like, oh, my God, to be able to meet up with a Reiki person, that'd be fantastic. You know, that's, that's studied the same way uh, and has the same sort of philosophy. Uh, but... What was more amazing for me was um, I had gotten some intuition that this other course I was going to wasn't going to be that great. And it wasn't. (laughs) Um, And so it was a really interesting experience to realize it really didn't matter as well to just kind of let go of what this other thing was. And then I got the chance to meet you at the end of the course. And it was like, oh, this is why I came. (laughs) Like meeting you felt like (laughs) why I actually came all this way was yeah and that that practice of meditation and reju oh that was so I felt like we were meeting again for me it was like oh yeah hi we're meeting Such again a beautiful day too yeah it was just so special and I yeah it is what Reiki can bring just this amazing connection with people that you've never met and yet because you're just so open and you just practice together there's this I don't know this deeper connection just seems to flow it's really special and I'm so honored that we're here talking about something that you are just amazing at Kelly you are amazing at working with animals and I am so honored you can share this beautiful method of letting animals lead developed by Kathleen Prasad who I've also studied with and a chance to really connect as a community too to connect with other like-minded people who love animals want to practice meditation or Reiki with animals and allow us to come together in the system of Reiki but you don't need to have studied. So as we said, it's all fine. He's been one of your earliest animal teachers, Kelly. Like, do you feel really taught you about meditation and Reiki and that deeper connection you can have? Yeah. Yeah. So I would, I would have to say my first real Reiki, strong Reiki teacher was my cat Murphy. He was a tuxedo cat and uh, who I absolutely adored and adored me. My husband said he would cry at the door when I go off to ski in the morning (laughs) and just sit there and and howl, (laughs) howl, whatever he has to. So, um, but Murphy had some um, lymphoma and he had some issues, um, some health issues. Actually, when I first brought him home, he was licking off the fur on the inside of his legs and his belly, his lower belly. Um, We got him from a rescue. And um, it wasn't until I started doing Reiki with him that that fur started to come back. He was just like an excessive groomer, I guess they call it. Um, But, you know, some nervousness from the shelter and everything. Um, And I see that a lot in shelters. They look, you know, nervously lick the fur off. But but his fur started to come back. And um, and he he wound up having um, lymphoma in his lower belly and had to have surgery. And he had to have, and we thought he had also had um, diabetes at one time. So he had several things going on that... um, really were, um, I feel, changed by having Reiki. Um, So with the lymphoma, he had to have surgery to have it removed. He had um, little stints in his belly or drains Mm -hmm. in his belly to um, to have him drain. And it was pretty tense. And we weren't Mm -hmm. sure that he was going to, you know, anything that was going to get better. The doctor said, you know, this is all we can do. And, you know, if anything, if it occurs or we didn't get it all, there's really nothing else we can do. So, you know, he was, he was an older boy, but anyway, um, 
he really, he loved Reiki all the time anyhow. And he would just get right on my lap whenever he wanted it. And he'd face away from me so that I could put my hands on his hips because he really, um, he really liked, he had some um, arthritis going on as he got older. And, um, and also that's the area where the lymphoma was on, you know, on his belly side. And so, you know, I would just say right here that we don't um, put our hands on animals unless they come to us and ask somehow to receive that way. Uh, but he always liked it. So, um, so he would have whatever he wanted and then he'd just get up and leave when he was done. Like, I'd be like, oh, this is great. Yeah, so I can feel all this energy moving. And then he'd be like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> but for, the thing that was the biggest lesson and, you know, was he taught me how to just let it be what it was like I didn't chase out like I, I got that message he was done even though I felt like I wanted to do more he was done and so I had to honor that and he knew exactly where he wanted to receive and so you know in the way he was teaching me like I know what I need I don't need you to diagnose me I don't need you to tell me how to you know do a session or you know come up and put your hands on me um, when I'm not ready. So he would come to me for it. And so that was the first, you know, I guess probably the first realization for me um, of the autonomy of animals and how important it is that we maintain that with our sessions. Wow. What an amazing, beautiful person he was. The... Oh my gosh. He was something. He was amazing. something. Yeah. We did a lot of Reiki as he was coming out of that surgery because um, he wasn't bouncing back. And I was yeah afraid I was going to lose him. And, and, but I also knew that, you know, because of the way he was with me, that he was in charge and that would be, have to be okay with me. So we did a lot of Reiki and, um, and then one day I just laid on the rug next to him and, and just did Reiki with him and some meditation and gave him permission if he wanted to leave. And, um, and the next morning he was back to his old self, following me around the house and, you know, being Murphy again. It was really something. I, I'll never forget that. Amazing. He was an angel. He's still up there watching over me, I'm sure, guiding me with my practice. I'm always blown away by how much animals can teach us. That's the lesson that I've learned from working with animals is that they, yeah. they're so present and so aware and in tune, even when they're not well. And they can yeah. really in a opposite way, hold space for us. That's what I've learned through your teachings and working with animals is just, they just constantly bring you, bring you back into this inner deep wisdom of allowing and just settling and allowing. And I think we need a lot of that in our lives these days. And if our animal friends can help us with that, I think that's just such an honor to be able to receive that gift from them as well. I think that that's sort of one of the lessons for me is I think in the in the sort of world I live in anyway is it's always about what am I doing there's this sense of doing and when I am connecting with animals there's this sense of letting all that go and just being with with what is and uh, that's just such an amazing experience and teaching that then you can bring more of that just into your world every day so yeah Thank you.